Hey, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, everyone. Welcome to the stream. How's everyone doing today? It's been a couple of weeks. Hey, Derek, hey, Colin, hey, James, hey, Bill Brothers, hey, Make RS, and Pervester. Hey, Derek, what else do we have? Chris, and Little Brad, and Are You Kidding, and Alex, and hey, Scott, hey, Lucas. How's everyone doing? Thomas, and James, and Mitchell, and Jay. Let's see. Bigger Fish, Lars, Felix. Hey, Colin. Charlie is doing, Charlie's stable. So he's still eating, he's still moving, he's still getting excited for treats. <laughs> hey, Psycho. Hey, Delmar. What all do we have? Dominarian. I got just felt a notification. My phone's in my pocket. We got to fix that. That's fixed. <laughs> hey, Rushmere. Hey, Samo. Zep Floyd and Bloodcat. Jeff. How is everyone doing? It's been a while. Let's see. I'm trying a couple little slightly tweak to my layout on my screens. You can't see it, but. Hey, Chris. Mad Chammy. Thanks for the gift of memberships. Hey, Lester. Hey, Sanity. Hey, Panzer Cadden. Pet that kitty. Oh, yeah. Charlie gets all the pets. Charlie gets all the pets. Hey, Timor. Oscillating Decay. Eza. So today we're going to start a build. And it is taking my original. Hey, Poity. Um, my original V0. The first one I built. And we're going to update it to the, the latest spec. Um, but we're going to do a couple of tweaks. Um, we're going to run. My intent right now is to run a Bowden um, setup. Because I'll, I have three other V0s that are um, direct drive. So I figured we'd try it. And we're also going to run a duet controller with RepRep firmware. Because I want to play with it. Um, hey, Breckle. Who else do we have? Eric with a K and 3D Wildcat. Giant Man and Marcel and the Dutch Dude. And Ivan. Whew. So the intent is, this is kind of, um, this is a build I've been wanting to do for a while. We took this printer apart. I don't remember if it was a chart. I think it was a Charlie's Angel stream a couple of months ago. And um, is my volume down? It might be. We've been, I've been tweaking things. Let me let me move my volume up a bit. Is is that better? Um, is that better, Mr. K? How's the elbow? It's still a little sore, but doing okay. Have you ever thought about doing one of the V0 mods like the Crucible? Absolutely. It's just fitting in time, and um, the prep for a mod like that is significantly more. So. I don't know which one, but one day we'll do one. Much better? Okay. What's the beverage of choice today? Right now, the beverage of choice is... Here, let's let's go here. Is coffee in a special beaker. It is uh, not insulated, so the coffee's already <laughs> not hot, but that's okay. Um, Gloop was giving away these um, actual borosilicate glass beakers at um, open sauce. So I figured I figured we'd take one one stream break away from the 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 Voron mug. So <laughs> Oh, there goes Charlie. Okay. So we can just go back here. What do we have? How was open sauce? Open sauce was awesome. Open sauce was different um, from the, the typical rep rep from uh, festivals that I've attended so far. Um, you get a much larger percentage of the audience who have no idea what you do. So you spend a lot of time talking about 3D printing and Voron in particular from the beginning, instead of starting somewhere where a question, like people come up and say, I heard these are fast. At, at a at a at a open sauce or a maker fair, where at a rep rap festival, people are asking about what's next, right? So, so I, I felt like I talked a lot more there than even at the rep rap festivals, um, but it was a blast. It was a lot of fun. 
I didn't get a ton of time to check out all the booths. I checked out a few of them, um, but I spent a lot more time at the Voron booth. There were only three of us. Well, th there were three of the crew there, but we had some awesome help from um, Z Rencho and Bill Brothers and John here. So. Hey, Mega T Blaster. I did enjoy Open Sauce. It was fun. Um, wrap, just wrapping up my Trident printer on a V0 might follow an update too. Now that I have a working printer, still awesome. Um, what do we got? Mad Shammy, thanks for being a member for a year. I have orders to get filled, but listening, awesome. Learn to never drink anything in a beaker. Well, this is a special. I don't have any other beakers, and I don't use beakers for anything else, so I'm safe. <laughs> Angus was there. Angus was awesome. Angus was so personable, um, very much so. There were a lot of creators I met and I didn't have, none of them were um, off-putting, um, but Angus seemed to be just that little bit of extra real, um, considering his, how, how long he's been around and his um, channel and stuff. So what do I miss something here? We have Make RS has been a member for a year. Thank you. And Derek, thanks for the gifted memberships. Hey Lewis. Hey TT. So today might be a little bit of a slow pace, trying to get caught up. Um, the this build is going to is likely going to get interrupted. Um, we'll do a couple of streams on this v0.2r1 update um, but then we're going to take a sidetrack to um, the the modbot collab streams so hopefully we just don't know exactly when they're going to start but um when when it is ready we're going to shift gears to to that build stream or build series panzer captain thank you for being a member mini BattleBot win. That would be fun. Just a lot of effort. Hey, ha happy MFG. Do you think about building the filament runout sensor from the zero? Mine became a little unreliable after some hours of printing. I am intending to build that. I'm intending to build all of V0.2R1, um, except for the, the tool head. The tool head will be Bowden. Um, now I know there are some airflow tweaks, whatever, to the tool head, to the mini stealth burner. Um, but right now we're not going to be doing that. That's a long trip to and from Idaho. Do it twice a week. I, I actually mapped it out. It's about an eight and, a, eight and a half hour drive. Oh, here comes Charlie. It's going to do some extra, extra visiting. So... No dragon burner V7. No, I'm gonna the the intent here for this build is to use this um, Bowden tool head that Hart K made along with this little um, Bowden PCB that he sent me. So this goes oh something. I think that goes on there somehow. Um, not exactly sure what spacers or whatever go in here in between, but we shall see. When are you building an Annex K3? I'm not, not on the plans. I am building a VZBot 235 though, and I'm looking forward to that. The mini Stealth Burner changed from R0 to R1. Mini Stealth Burner got some tweaks. The, the, the housing, the, the cowling got some tweaks for airflow. Holly, thanks for being a member. Uh, extruder will be pocket watch, pocker, pocker watch. Is there a pocket? Is, is that a typo or is that is that pocker watch or M4? I'm not 100% sure, um, Sanity. I might do the M14. I might do um, the updated um, pocket watch 2, night watch, something. Um, I haven't made that decision yet. So. Typo. Okay. <laughs> hey, Britannian. Okay. So, what else is going on? Um, yeah, I think that's about it. So we can get 
kind of start working towards making actual build progress. Um, Holly, did I thank you for being a member? Thank you. Hey, Wade. Okay, so Charlie's gonna hang here, that's fine. Let's go over to the V0 manual. So this is the updated manual, updated as of June 7th, 2023. We can get this at, oops, I didn't wanna go there, at the Voron Zero GitHub, which I'm gonna paste, paste a link. Projects in Dev Garage, hey, been a while, nice catch stream. Awesome, thanks for being here. Okay, let me copy this and paste this into chat for folks to follow along. I posted a couple of pics from open source in the stream chat on Steve's Discord. Awesome. Yeah, that was that was a ton of fun. Um, some of the overseas creators that I don't get to see ever before um, that were nice to to talk to were like um, Integza, the from um, Portugal who um, does a lot of jet engine and rocket um, content. That guy's hilarious. Um, he was cool to hang out with. And then Tom Stanton I talked with for a little bit. He's from the UK and does, um, um, he's done some trebuchet content, but a lot of printed air motors and flight, uh, RC flight type stuff. Um, who else was a, uh, James Bruden. Uh, from the uh, doing all the robot robotic stuff and yeah hey polar ted i posted uh by any selfies that i took um i posted in my discord okay this is the voran zero um github we're gonna i i've down i've i've cloned this to my local drive so i have all the stls but the manual is what we're concerned about right now kind of gonna follow gonna somewhat follow this um process hey Dirk putting stealth burner together awesome and Charlie is just gonna chill here that's perfect um okay so let's scroll on through and Texas channel is fun but I don't want to be his neighbor <laughs> yeah no kidding <laughs> and 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 it's true tomatoes he he, he thinks tomatoes are disgusting <laughs> he actually doesn't like tomatoes Hey, Martin, the engineer. Okay, so this is just talking about blind joints and tools and drilling holes for blind joints. Now, this is my um, my original V0. So when I when I um, back when it was released, April ish of 2020, um, I had to build one. I was just finishing up my V2 at the time. And, um, <laughs> hey, Pex Peppers. Um, I was just finishing up my V2 at the time and everything was released. So I ordered a bunch of parts for Voron Zero. And at the time, one of the early Voron hugs was Maker Beam's um, extrusions, the 1515 extrusions, the Maker Beam XLs. So I couldn't buy the, the pre-cut to length extrusions. And I hear um, at some point they were feeling the crunch and putting out some pretty sub-quality cuts anyway. So I ordered meter long uh, extrusions from Amazon for, and I figured I'd cut them myself, no big deal. Well, then comes along um, someone, Jason, but I don't think it was, it was Jason's friend, Jason, um, posted, or maybe it was Jason, posted pictures of a blue, um, blue anodized frame uh, from LDO. I'm like, hmm, that, I need that. So I DM Jason and I even, I mean, I, I, I was just a member of the community at the time. I had nothing, no, I, I didn't know anybody. I just, out of the blue, DM Jason and said, hey, do you have more of those? And he said, I made five of them. If you want one, I'll sell it to you for this dollar amount, way more than they sell for now, by the way. Um, and and you can have one of the first five of these. So I so I jumped on it. So that's where this, um, this frame came from. And we're gonna keep using it. Hey, Paul. Welcome. Do you think it's worth swapping from the 02 mini stealth burner to the 02 R1 mini stealth burner? I don't know. I don't I, I, Maybe others can tell, can can mention. I haven't actually printed a, an R1 cowling yet. 
Um, <laughs> Charlie is just chilling and getting pets. Anyway, um, yeah, I needed that. So I ended up with a bunch of um, early, very early LDO rails, um, very early, very small, short Nemus, um, NEMA 14 steppers. I got a little bit of a discount um, buying this package of parts from him, just as a, a random person messaging Jason, hey, that stuff looks cool. I want to use it in my build. So. Um, we are going to abandon most of those parts, but we're going to keep the frame. <laughs> Imagine the disadvantage at my, oh, okay. Yeah, so there is a, there is an R1 version of, um, of V0. It's some minor things. The skirts got a little taller to accommodate taller Z stepper motors. There's a filament runout sensor in the, in the back corner. Uh, a couple other things. The blue 1515 extrusions are what made me build a V0 as well. Yeah. Hey, Steven. Hey, Ballistic Tech. The airflow in the R1 does seem to be a bit better, but if you're mostly printing ABS, do you need the cooling? Probably not. Hey, Jaeger. Okay, so let's go back here. I am going to continue petting Charlie because that's what he deserves. And we're going to kind of figure out what extrusions we need, extrusion prep, and get right into it. The Z end stop is way beefier in the Z. Oh, yeah. Although I haven't had any trouble with mine. Um, grab your gardening tools. We're about to blast off. These little doodles are awesome. It's all integrated into there. That's cool. If you have all these abandoned parts, maybe use them to build a Pandora's box. I could. There's all kinds of things I could build. Just having time. Um, okay. So at one point, so when I originally built my, um, this V0, I did use the printed uh, nut carriers. But at some point along the way, I knew I was going to do some V0 rebuilds. So I bought the LDO kit. I don't remember who I bought these from. Maybe Printed Solid. Maybe it might have been Fabrico or KB3D. West 3D wasn't around when I bought these because I bought these ages ago. I don't think West 3D was around. The Z end stop is way deep here. Oh, yeah. If you have all those abandoned parts, oh, oh, I'm getting caught up. Q, hey, Q. So anyway, so I will be using the little uh, LDO uh, rail bars on this build. Interesting enough, my daughter started a V02 and got to the Kurigami and the instruction said to go to page 43. We're backpedaling and she needs to finish the frame. Ah. Got a set from West, and they did did the tri zero. Yeah, this, these I, I bought these ages ago, I, and I don't really I don't remember who I bought them from. So let me get rid of these that junk. So we're going to use those, and then I have rails. So I bought these rails after this Murph. I just got them. Um, it's several weeks ago. I ended up buying these from KB3D. So I'm gonna use these as refreshed rails for this build. I haven't even opened it up. So hopefully everything, everything's good. I don't know if these come pre-greased or if we're gonna have to clean them up and grease them. Hey Jay, thanks for gifted memberships. Okay, so I'm guessing these aren't going to come pre-greased, so we will do that. Clean them and grease them, and then you're certain. I know, but I did, I did very last second reached out, but he hasn't seen my message yet. Oh. Hey, Leon. Hey, Arthur. 
Okay, so we have, so these are the KB3D and they're actually labeled, engraved KB3D. And I checked these out at Murph and they were really smooth. So I decided to buy some and give them a try. So we will probably go through and clean them up or at least wipe them off and grease them. Let's see here. Hey, <laughs> Major Gamer Geek, thanks for being a member. I will, um, I will take a break here because I forgot to bring the, the, the kitty crack um, into this garage. So I will grab that um, here in a bit so we can, so we can give Charlie his treats. Hey, Soban. Okay, so where are we going first? Whoa, did I skip a whole bunch of stuff? This is kind of weird. What do we got here first? We've got this. We've got that. We've got rails. That's where they go. And why are we already on to Y rail frame? Where, what happened to putting together the rest of the frame? <laughs> did, did, did the, um, did, what happened to the manual? Do they do this in a totally different setup now? Or do we put all these on first? Charlie can always be upgraded with more treats. Yeah. I haven't actually looked at this manual. I'm just trying to decipher what they want us to do here. Is this just mounting the rails and then this is for the Y rails. It's positioning. Okay, I guess we're just putting putting rails on extrusions first. Are these the same as the Badger rails? I don't think so. Yeah, just the order of the, of the manual. I'm I'm either don't remember or not familiar with, but we'll get it. We'll get there. Okay, let's go here. Um. They changed the order. Okay, that's fine. I'm going to open. Yes, Charlie. Keep your nose out of there. Okay. My OCD doesn't like how the holes in the rails used in the CAD manual are not symmetrical. Oh, I see that see that okay let me get some paper towels you went down charlie there you go paper towels and get all this prepped is there one marked with preload for the x-rail um i when i pull these out i will check i don't think so i think they're all the same they're all they all feel fairly high preload because I can just the, the way it rolls right now. Manual change from mounting the Z rails and back frame to all the rails and then start the frame. Okay. Hey, if I can cut. It's a much better flow in your opinion, Bill. Okay. Well, I will give it a go. That's the one of the intents of this build is just kind of go through because I didn't have um, time to do um, work when it was being dev. There was a bunch of other people that did though. Okay, let's get rid of this. And we have our five rails. And I don't think any of these different from the others. These are all I don't see anything different on these as far as markings, so. Hey, John. So I'm right around the drop-in nuts for the zero. 
Bevel up or bevel down? Um, it depends. I would go bevel up, I think. Bevel down. Bevel down is what I would do, I think. Hey, Linus, thanks for being a member. Okay, so that's there. And then let me give me another paper towel to kind of work on. And then my grease. And let's zoom in a little bit. There we go. So we have, so I like to, I'm going to pull these apart. I'm not going to do the inject grease into the, into the mounting hole method. I'm going to pull these apart, but when I do that, these have a little, some uh, rails have a, uh, an, a mark on one side. See, it's smooth on that side. It's marked on that side. I'm going to take that and I'm going to put a tiny mark on the side of the rail. So I put it back on the same way. I'm just going to do that on all of these just as a tell. So I put them back on the same way they came off. Power out here, so watching on phone. Well, thank you. So just mark those. So go back on. And then these off. And pull it straight off the end. And then the idea is just wipe these down. Get your fingernail down inside the down inside the groove, make sure that if, anything, if there's any dirt, any little crud. Normally I have that problem here in South Africa. You're from South Africa, Mega T? Awesome. Okay, and then take our grease. And I do want a little extra magnification working on this, so I'll get the and I just kind of a little bit of grease on each side. Try not to wipe the dot off. Yeah. And then very carefully, and I'm gonna do it down here so if any fall out, it doesn't pop out. I'm gonna coax several of these bearings into the track, about all of them that were visible and greased, and that's gonna push some of that grease that I put on there down into the track. And then I'm gonna put just a tiny bit more on what's out there and then put the rail back together. Okay. Now the trick to putting these, the trick I use to putting these back together without losing any balls, any bearings, is we're going to make sure that we have the correct orientation. So the red mark and then the line. And then I put my thumb just over the 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 carriage there, and then we ease it on. Now my thumb and I'm pressing down pretty hard should. Hold all those bearings in place, and there we go. None of them, none of them fell out. And that one's greased. I think I'll try this greasing method versus through a mounting hole next time. This seems cleaner. You just have to be extra careful. You need to be comfortable with um, making sure that you keep your orientation. I like, I mean, I don't know how important it is to put back together the same way, but I, I figure it doesn't hurt to make sure it goes back together the same way. And then just make sure that you have some way of making sure those bearings don't pop out. I find that my thumb method works pretty well. Um, you can probably get a little printed um, uh, piece to put in there, kind of like the, the tap setup does, but that one's done. So now we can kind of go through and just work our way through them. Tiny thumbs need not apply. Tiny thumbs might work better. I was able to use your rail tips to get my carriages back on the rails with no loss bearings. Awesome. So make sure I mark this okay. Just go right off the end there. So another another thing that I didn't really check here, but is important when you're, especially when you're dealing with um, rails that may not be 
as um, as nice. Um, here, let's do that. Um, make sure that where they're cut, there isn't a big burr on, on the edge here because as you're taking this carriage off, you don't want that to mark any of the bearings. Yeah, so that is all good. Get in here, crease this. Oops, accidentally hit that. Go. Just get all that, pack that grease in between the bearings. Down here, just in case any fall out, they don't have as much of a chance of going flying. Okay, and then a a little bit more. And my finger to get rid of any extra. And then let's see which direction. There we go. And just slow and make sure you're going on straight. And then none lost. Always time for lubricant, yes. There we go, there's two done, three more to go. Hey Jerry, thanks for becoming a member. I love the printed rail thing on the tap SCLs. It's really handy, absolutely. I never have them fly because they stick to the grease, but they do pop out a little wire retainer on me. Yep, that, that happens often. Just have to be aware and be careful. Should I mark this one? It's marked correctly. No burrs, straight off the end. Hey, Mr. V8, Rick. So I'm getting ready to start printing parts for the Rook. I thank everybody who gave color suggestions. If you did and you, you want to go out there and like your favorite suggestion, that would help. Have you ever replaced bearings with ceramic bearings? I have not. I've got, um, I think, all of the parts printed for the next um, Foam Dart Blaster build, which is going to be this coming Saturday on the Charlie's Angels stream. So all you new members, everybody who's got a gift, gifted membership or have become a member, um, be sure to keep an eye out for that. Gary, thanks for the gifted membership. Speaking of... I'm just pressing the tip of the um, the the syringe here along the and kind of light pressure on the on the plunger and that's putting uh, grease pretty much just in between the bearings there. Okay, that and that and that. Right on here. Nothing lost. I mean, even I, I check. Yes. I wanted to build a roof, but the largest print bed I have is a Funser SR with diameter six, 265, which is not large enough for the base and top.
I'm considering getting an ERCF for my Trident. Is it worth it to wait for the V2 that's supposed to be released sometime in the future? I don't know anything about V2. I don't have any opinion on that. New blaster, when those suckers reach 88 miles an hour, you're gonna see some serious shirt. Serious shirt, awesome. <laughs> Um, I'm building, so Apollo, who provided the parts for the Talonclaw 4 that I did on the last um, Charlie's Angel stream, two Charlie's Angel streams ago, um, brought parts for a Cynthia to Murph. So we're going to build a Cynthia. This one is, I've, I've, I've done it. I printed, I printed um, all the parts in Pet G, which I'm reminded how much I don't really like printing in Pet G, uh, but the the Mercury one and the Mark IV did all the parts, and they did a great job. First life Charlie builds in six months, finally free of the grave graveyard shift. Oh, welcome back, Dead Bob. I'm redesigning the rook and set. Okay. Don't make the same rookie mistake by shooting at your garage door again. I'm going to set up a, a piece of chloroplast as a target, I think. Oh, I am loving my contacts, but the compromise between distance and close-up vision means that for really close stuff, it's still handy to have some magnifiers. And my old glasses actually work really well. They're like 1.75, I think. So... Instead of using the fives that I did before, 1.75s are pretty good. Hey, Connor. The I, I'm told that the the um, Cynthia should do 250 plus feet per second. The Talonclaw 4 that I built, we tested it at Murph at 226, I think was the highest it hit. Got myself a proper target. Revolt of these are X rail ceramic balls. It was super sloppy unless you're way over sort of balls by the micron size. You're probably going to mess up the preload. Yeah, it's not a great idea to buy just the bearings for these. You might be able to get away with that when you're when you're buying high wind rails or better and you're buying re replacement bearings and especially in the larger sizes. But in these, it's not worth it. There are a couple of little spots, little bits of, little bits of black that have come off. Extra on there. I don't need to put any more. Yeah, I don't need to put any more. I got enough extra to fill all the spots in between the bearings. There we go. You seen the experimental printed Z rail carriages on the Tri Zero GitHub? I have not. Sent you a pic on my VZ235 progress, not rushing it, taking my time. Awesome. I will check that out later. 
Okay, this is the last one. So this did not take long. There we go. And all of these have been smooth. So, nice. Hey Chris, welcome. Did you end up seeing my question? Nope. <laughs> That's okay, we just did it. For the, for the reball, I had to regrind the sides of the carriage to be parallel to the raceways. And then with a test indicator, crush it in a precision vise gradually till it stayed close to fix them. Wow, that's a lot of effort. Is your mug from thinking? No, it's from it's from um, 3D Gloop. Oh, oh, there we go. Gloop. Those mad scientists, Andrew and Andrew, gave that to me at Open Sauce. Yeah, these these are all very smooth. I am I have no no complaints. Hey JH. Yeah. I don't know if you can hear that or or not, but those are all good. So let's send them over here. I don't have any preference on where they go. I couldn't tell one of them being any smoother or anything than another. Over there. Charlie's trying to get comfortable, it looks like. Do you want some heat, Charlie? I will give you some heat. There you go. <laughs> hey, John. Okay. There, there. Okay, so why rails? So let's get sorted what rails are what. So this is an early LDO frame. It doesn't get any earlier than this for V0 frames. Yeah. It does not get any earlier than this. Oh, I knew that was going to happen. So we're not going to end up using those because I've got a Kirigami bed for it. Did you get those last two parts printed? I did, last three parts. Did, everything for the Cynthia, I think is printed. I'm not sure, Maurice, what I'm gonna do for the top. The problem is, if I buy extrusions now, they are not going to match these. These have both faded, and they're completely different batch from whatever's going on now. Okay, let's see if we can figure out which extrusions were which. So these, these have no um, cross holes in them. I'm guessing this is one of the top extrusions. So let's set that aside. That is the same thing here. They're threaded on each end. This is also before they, they made some of the extrusions the same between, uh, to minimize the, the number of them. And let's wipe these off while I'm working on them. They're like the DLL PDF powder coated extrusions I saw at Murph. Yep. So those two I think are the top, um, the top side extrusions. 
these have hey vector 3d welcome how you doing adam it's just a totally different color make it with red that would be that would be one way to do it so this has got to be something with a rail on it because i've got nicks in the <laughs> in the extrusion here so i think this is probably where would this be this is probably one of the z rails what do we got i missed something i miss john thanks for the gifted memberships get a contusion while trying to prevent extrusion confusion <laughs> thanks john this is another one that is just straight so where is that gonna go that's probably front that's probably front bottom okay or thereabouts okay this one has this is probably a front z yeah yeah i think that's a that's a front z this one is a y because it's got the offset wrench access hole and some of these on this some of these i had to drill cross holes because this was basically this was basically beta parts so i think this is a, a y This one, oh, this is one I already did. This is one of the, this is one of the these. This would be another one of the front. Yeah, this would be another one of the front um, verticals. Where did he get that shirt from? I didn't see him them selling those. They were selling them right there at the near the entrance john it was the the cat the cat something the cat bag vendor thing okay that one might be another z yeah i can feel the i think that's another z 81 likes we need to we we want to get back up we we got to keep our keep our our filament giveaway like streak going right oh that's that's another another of the y extrusions i think you can still order them john from maybe william osmond's um store that's here let's just put these type of extrusions together it's quite a long time since i built my v0.1 such a useful little machine oh yeah i love mine now all of mine don't get a ton of use but my gold one that's my go-to just because it's set up and everything's good Okay, so these are like these are like we're gonna we're gonna set these up in and like that's like and that one's like just back there we're almost done sorting these there we go almost to 100 likes already those Oh, I got on the stream. Hey, Dr. Dave. Welcome. Oh, hey, Steve Clark. Okay. All of these. Hey, Joker Nut. Okay, everything is wiped off now. Now we can 
Now we can better sort these. So what do we need? We know that two of these are for the Y. For the Y rails. And that's what we're on now. So let's go ahead and do that. Figure out which direction, which ones and which direction we want to use. I have a link here for the T if I can post it. Um, there you go. Um, there you go, Chris, you can post it. I'm using Sparta 3D Cloud Gray for printing parts, main parts for 02R1. Awesome. Hey, Zarp. I'm waiting for parts to arrive to finish the Fabrico blasters. Cool. And there we go. Okay. Let's see here. So I've got four of these, and two of these are going to be the Y rail. So let's just, they all look about the same, so we'll grab these. Get these out of the way. Oh, do I have, okay. So we're gonna do our first um, Dancing Max supervision. Um, I need to go get little, um, the rail guides the alignment jigs, and at the same time, I'll grab Charlie's cat crack. So I will be right back. Okay, I'm back. I got I've got a whole pile of these that I've printed over over time. From Cat Warehouse, that's what it was. Going pretty well up to the electronics now. It's not perfect since the beta kit, but final result is looking optimistic. I think the kits that Daniel and I are getting at them are the next what there's a few revisions, I think. The next the next set of them after what you got. Um, you should know this, but it's a V0 2020 extrusions. It's 1515 extrusions. And other people have answered that too. Okay. Welcome, Mamadou. Okay, so we got a pile of these. Let's see. Um, that's an MGN9 version. Um, I don't need the MGN9 one, so let's put those over there. <laughs> see how these yeah these are all these all fit pretty well so i'll just use those two well nice i have provided quite a lot of feedback so we'll be really interesting to see the improvements oh yeah for sure and i'm sure we'll end up having to do the same i mean th these kits are so complicated there's so many pieces it's hard to get them right hard to get them perfect 
Okay, so according to the instructions, we are going to put two MGN7 rails on the extrusions with the offset pull there. What? Oh, I got, okay, we're good. Sorry. Um, where was I? Yeah, that'll work. Two of them with the offset hole, and they are going to be 38 millimeters from the back, it looks like, according to this. I'm just saying, in terms of fun, beta kits are work. I'm confident that Simon and the team will get it to a good level of polish, so we'll make it super fun. Yeah. The other thing that we're doing, Adam, is we, we ended up going with the um, Easy VZ program to kind of see how that goes. Um, we're definitely capable of printing the parts ourselves. Um, but it was interesting to just kind of do the full VZBot experience. Hey, Pezlis, welcome. <laughs> to color code everything. <laughs> do V0.1 rail nuts work with the V0.2? Yes. Um, yes, they should. I'm in trouble if they don't. Because I got these. So let's go ahead and put these in here. In here. And in here and we'll get a couple of rails on here and then the are we still live hey max welcome everybody say hi max hey zombie welcome what else do we got ZBZ didn't exist when I started. I think Simon mentioned it launching on my first stream. Yeah. And I, we saw that and figured, you know what? This this is a cool thing to, this is a cool program. Um, it's worked really well for Voron. So it was a, I think it was a cool thing to try. Um, I'm going to, I'm going to move these, um, these safety plugs to the next hole in because those don't get screwed down. That way I can start putting this together. Max needs a TC4. Yes. TC4 is the foam dart blaster, Max. I'm just populating these. greeted us with his presence. Everybody worship. <laughs> hey, Stuart. Everyone needs a TC4. This is true. I've got, so I printed, I didn't show these, so I printed new trays. And, and Ballistic Techs gave me the idea, and I've done this for a few now, of the color swap. But I did a um, concentric top infill on it, and it worked really well. Um, you can see, see it, it did a, a really neat job. Oops, it goes there. And I printed two of these at the same time. Um, printed one on one printer with the the sky blue first and the other on another printer and then just swap the swap the rolls between the printers when it was time for the, the filament swap I don't need a TC4 my five-year-old wouldn't stop using it on me <laughs> so anyway I've I have all of the fasteners I'm recycling all the fasteners so this is a rebuild. There's one. And here, what do we got here? Um, that one is now this side because the text on the on the rail needs to be upright. So now I need to pay attention on this side. <laughs> Saw short of the 100 darts nerf blaster. There we go. It's there. I just finished another blaster that uses the longest M5 bolts I've ever seen. Unfortunately, no hat. It's quite a gentleman. Who are we talking about? Hey, Jose. Oh, 
Oh yeah, those 100 175 millimeter M5 bolt. That's what I remember that. Is that like required to purchase it like McMaster to get something like that? That seems odd. Just poking at John. Oh, okay. That's okay. I approve. I approve this message. Back to lurking. How'd you embarrass yourself, Great White? Let's see. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta rub it in. Oh, there. <laughs> what is the black with white flex on the hex tray? Are you talking about this? Is this what you're talking about? Matt? That's well. Okay, so those two are on there. Maybe the filament. Oh, this is, um, is this what you're talking about? This is um, Polymaker's Sparkle Dark Gray. That's the filament, it's an ABS. This is, this is a very small SSR because the original V0.0s were in spec with an AC bed and we're gonna keep that. Hi, Charlie. You're gonna just put your head right there. There we go. Might as well. <laughs> dark, Galaxy Dark Gray, that's it. Okay, then we're gonna go 38 millimeters. So where's my calipers? 38 millimeters. Seven point nine nine. Okay, so this is gonna go right here. It's gonna go to there. These are gonna go on here. It's gonna go there. And then we're gonna just barely tighten just to hold it in place. Out of good enough view. That should be right there. Yep. So now starting from the center. So these are there. Center out. If the bed is made of heavy metal, shouldn't it use an AC? <laughs> an AC DC heater? It's not a heavy metal though, John, so we're okay with just an AC heater. Just one. You don't need both. It's aluminum's light, so. It's light metal. Okay, so that's one, and we'll leave those um, stoppers on there. Okay, so that's a Y rail. Next one, this one here. This one here. That there, and lock down one to hold it in place, and then tighten from the inside out. Better an AC bed than an AC frame, yes. Light metal equals easy listening. <laughs> All right, so Y rail extrusions are done. Okay. 
Then, so wire, oh, and then we need the copper. So, let's go here. Filament we are using for the build is the Polymaker Galaxy Dark Gray and the Polymaker Light Blue. Um, so I need two of the end end stoppers and two nuts and and five by eights. Did you ever finish the dual M4 switch wire? Building a switch wire and wanted to do the same thing. I have had a working dual M4 switch wire that's since been changed to a, um, a ERCF switch wire that I haven't powered on since about when it was built. <laughs> Where do we find that skirt? So I'm about to uplo upload those, to, those skirts to my GitHub, Lewis. I modeled them on Thursday and printed them yesterday. So now I know that they print well, so I'll throw them up on my GitHub. Um, so the difference between the release files and these is I merge these into one piece. Um, I merge them into one piece because I like to print the, them as one piece. I leave the extra mounting hole because it's not worth moving that around. Um, and then I modeled in the 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 mesh stuff with cutouts for the screw heads um so what i'll be uploading are step files and if you follow this the instructions that i did on my tridex um, part one stream you'll be able to use those step files from that point now if you're on my my discord which a link is in the description in the poke steve channel all of these are uploaded because like thunder thunder keys was asking for them and once i had them started printing i uploaded them um, so they could get it quicker i've somehow decided to build a tiny t any idea how many of those exist i don't know how many exist thanks charlie my bad i didn't realize it was this that was the same switch right it was i'm gonna throw up on github yep Okay, now we got to put the these end end stops here onto the short side. It looks like on both the on the back side, it'll get stopped by a an extrusion. Should be fun. I'm going to try and use a side pack on it. Nice. Okay, so now those are done. 22 is too small for me, but 150 seems better. I'd go 180. Really, between, in, in the step of sizes, I'd go 120, 180, 250. Your, your selection of flex sheets skyrockets when you hit the 180 size. 150, it's, it's gonna be very limited. If I'm building, if I'm building a, or starting a, a printer design or whatever, I, I would stick with the most common um, build sizes. One, 120, 180, then 250. Uh, 235 in there um, because of the ender. Um, 235 is a good one too. And, and honestly, as much as you can, you can um, harmonize the sizes of your printers, the more you can move things around. If you have a whole collection of 300 printers and you don't have to buy as many varieties of um, plates. Okay, where were we? So that's there. And I didn't need, I don't need a no drop nut thing there. I like to print more than one thing at once. Well, that's the whole point of the V0 is when you just need, oh, I forgot to print that one thing. Okay, so now we have the Z rails. So that's gonna be one of these. So these are all just on the ends. 
And these are on the sides. All of these just plain. Just make sure, oh, there's one that's there on the ends. Steve needs to stop rebuilding V-Zeros and get back to Switchwire 2. I do need to get to Switchwire 2. Oh, sorry about that. I guess, I guess I've been told. The boss has spoken. Okay, six of those, four of these. Which ones am I going to use for the... Some of these that had some marks on them. That one. I think those two are going to be it. So these can go over here. Hey, John, thank you. Have a nice cold adult beverage after the stream. I will. Thanks to you, I absolutely will. I get it. Tiny, shiny object syndrome. Yep. <laughs> I have six printers. Two of those printers have 300 millimeter build plate. I moved recently and knew I didn't have any more printers bigger than 235 to 250. Yeah. Things like flexi animals rarely fit on 120. <laughs> the important stuff to print, right? The, the flexi, the flexi prints that we brought to open sauce went quick. Um, next time, I'm going to make sure that I keep a stash back of flexi things for the latecomer kids because the kids really enjoy those. Switchwire 2 sneak peek. Switchwire R2? I don't know. Something. Switchwire needs some attention. Well, that's all I'll say. Okay, so Z rails. We are going to put our is that the yep these in here. And then how are we gonna set these? We're gonna once again move our stoppers over. Attention is an understatement, yeah. Switchwire needs it way more than Trident. I think I'd like a 120 by 240, but where are you going to get a build plate, a flex sheet for it? Trident is barely a year old. It's solid. No need for R2. I mean, there's lots of little things. I mean, really, it's they're pretty minor. Um, but Switchwire, Switchwire needs more. Okay, how am I going to do these? I'm going to go that and that. Read them both the same way. It's up. These go in here. Let me build a switch wire. We'll get an update right after I'm done. There we go. That's perfect. We get a, a coordinated effort of a bunch of people building their first switch wires, and we'll make sure to release an update right after everybody's done. If we build it, the flex plates will come. That's there's there's some truth to that, <laughs> for sure. It is the way. <laughs> Okay. Most convenient, but you could use two 120 by 120 sheets temporarily. Sure. Okay, are there any spacing? Nuts up, nuts down. The best orientation for your nut bars will depend on the extrusion profile you have. Dio extrusions work best with nuts facing up. Maker beams work best with them facing down. That's for the printed nut bars is what they're talking about there. We have Z rails. They go in that way. Is there a space? Yes. 33 millimeters from the top. That's what I was looking for. So let's go back to... Oh, oh, I got it. 33.00. So 
switch wire should be tweaked to be more an ender wire. Like there are just so many enders and if most of the parts can be used, more would build it. It is, a, there are a lot of parts to be used, but the, the thing, the, a, a, an update to switch wire will 100% use the same frame as the current switch wire. That's, that's non-negotiable. So, okay, so this is gonna go in here 33 millimeters to the side. Everybody knows that the distance between the end of this part of the calipers and the end is the same as the gap between the jaws, right? That's, I am probably have caught somebody who didn't know that. So it's worth mentioning. That's gonna, so make sure that's held square. It goes there. Tighten one. Did you hear that? My switch wire frame stock just side relief. <laughs> Steve, what's up? Hey, JC. Receive my serial number for my V0. Awesome, congrats, Rick. Is there any plans by Voron to create a non-planar printer? I haven't been tracking if there is slicer available to do this though. If there's no slicer available, there's no plans to build one. Just got on, so I might've missed it. But to go from V01 to a 2 you have to do a complete teardown or can you just go down to the box frame? To the box frame. I think you could do to the box frame from a 0.0. .0. Um, I, just figured we completely disassembled this i think a stream of charlie's angel stream or two ago non-planar super experimental right now same with five axis printing yeah okay so that one's there and then the top part gets one of these these so I might as well grab that any plans for a Voron air fryer <laughs> clipper controlled air fryer I considered a switch wire build to start but there were almost no kits available so I tried it instead very happy with that decision yes that was a good decision Switch wire is a fun build. It's an easy build. We're on shower release first. Okay, so. And stop there. And then. So that goes there. Goes here. I have a convention, a convection toaster oven that runs Marlin. Really? Warren filament dryer would be useful. It would. I use my little Rosewill cheapy that I bought off Amazon years ago for filament drying. I think Charlie likes his um, heated, heated pad. He's been staying there. Every time I see a five axis video, I can't help but feel like that adhesion would be a problem. Why is. There we go. Keep it loose. I built my 300 cube Trident from LDO. I was so surprised on how little serial entries for Trident. Yeah, it's picking up steam. Um. We're up to 1,200 Trident serials now. Now, Trident, when it was released, I think V1, because it uses the same series of serial numbers as Voron 1, I think we were right about 300, or a little over 300 when Trident was released. So. Okay. Hi, Charlie. There. And 
Oh my, I can't wait to get one. I need to serialize my trident. I have two serial tridents. One of those is a solid fork. <laughs> then I have a tridex that doesn't have a serial. Oops, forgot one. And my latest trident doesn't have a serial yet. The development trident is serial 210. And got serialed as a V1.8 or a V1.9. What value setting to use for sensorless homing? I've set mine to 125. I was wondering if that's in the ballpark. It's going to very much depend on your setup, your steppers, your stepper current, your belt tension. Um, the very specific number is going to be um, depending on that. Now, what printer? I mean, that's belt lengths. Um, <laughs> so here's what's going on right now. Um, Z Rencho printed me a very awesome um, cat treat ball, and Charlie has found it. <laughs> I set it in here. So check this out. This is a little print that unscrews, and you put cat crack in there, and it's got a hole, and it's called cat, cat flicks, I guess. But Z Rancho printed this for me and gave it to me at Open Sauce. And Charlie has found it. So we will. Oh, oh, oh boy. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, you can have that. Oh no. Uh... Okay, Charlie is going to play with that. I'm apparently going to play 100 and 200 fastener pickup. Ah, they're off calipers. Thank you. Ah, uh, he stepped on the, he stepped on it. Yeah, we'll get a little bit of Charlie playing with his, his toy. There he goes. You got one. <laughs> Grab the magnet. Um, I think what I'm going to do is just kind of push these over this way. Oh man, they went everywhere. You guys can watch Charlie while I clean this up a little bit. Several of them. Man. There we go. Oh, this is going to be. Maybe I can maybe I can send these off to Nero and he can do a screw sorting stream. <laughs> okay, well, that is a mess that I will deal with later. <laughs> Where are you, Charlie? The mess of my garage. Oh, it went all the way under. Oh, wow. Well. <laughs> uh, next member stream sorting. The no, I'll, I'll send him off to Nero. Let him do it. He likes to do screw sorting streams, right? McDonald, thank you. Thank you for the super chat. Uh, those are all M2s also, which are going to be not, even that much harder to sort. <laughs> he is, he seems stable. Charlie seems stable. Um, the, the mass in his, in his gut is, is growing, unfortunately, but he's still comfortable. So that's good. Charlie proof trades win. Yeah. Screw sorter kits. Yeah, he's, he's doing okay right now. Um, I'm going to, let me see if I can get this thing. Let's, let's bring this back, Charlie. Oh, there you go. You got another one. Oh, there's still more in here. It's covered in spider webs now. Here, Charlie. There you go. <laughs> 
I dropped one of those Nindigen screws assortments and they popped open. Took all day to get sorted out. Yeah. As long yeah, he's happy and he seems happy and comfortable. He's still he's still finding. He's got he's got spider web on his whiskers now. <laughs> Do you have an STL for the toy? I'm not sure where. Um Z Rancho printed that for me. Um, I'm not sure where he got it. Mask growing in her gut too. She got skinny quickly. Yeah. Yep. Okay. <laughs> um, he'll play with that. I have to listen to see when he's actually emptied it because I don't want him to keep playing with it if it's gone. I don't want him to get disappointed. Um, doo -doo -doo. Is that one done? So I got I got distracted, so let's make sure all these are, are tight. Are there any more, Charlie? Are you all done? I figure as long as he gets excited about his his kitty crack, then he's probably feeling okay. Um, and then this goes on here. Let's see, is he done? Are you all done, Charlie? Yep, you got them all. Uh, put these away. Where he can't get to them. <laughs> and we can turn that off. There we go. Ah, hey, Orc. Let's see, what's next? So that's the Z-Rails on. And then we're going to put together the Z-Axis. So that is going to be two of those. That's hide pain really well so they don't become easy prey. Yeah. Yeah. So the, the, the things that we watch for is if if I mean he's he has bladder problems and kidney problems so the problem right now is he pees outside the litter box so what we watch for is blood in his urine um, as as one thing and then we just watch to how is he eating is he eating regular food uh, the, the vet said when he stops eating is when he's going to become uncomfortable it's because he's become uncomfortable so so far he's he's anxious about food he wants to eat and he's moving okay and he's peeing on my floor mat okay whatever <laughs> yeah he's mobile so he just he just peed on the floor mat oh well let me let me put a couple of paper towels down on that just to get it soaked up this is our life Sorry about that. Okay. <laughs> it's his format now. Yeah. Um, other news, the, the cats that we were going to adopt did find a home. So. Um, so that is good. So now we have, we need two extrusions that only have the, the caps on the end. Let's see if I can figure out which extrusions we used. This is going to be the bottom extrusion. So that's got the markings from the from the Z stepper mount. My litter box even has a mat, an app, but it doesn't use mainsail. Does it use fluid? Huh? Huh? I think it doesn't really matter the other one that I use here. So I'll just use those two. Hey, Kyle. Posted a picture of the Marlin Convention toaster oven in, in the Discord. Awesome. <laughs> oh, Charlie. Okay, I need to do something about these these fastener bins because because I knew I was I I wanted to minimize my my trips to the other garage i brought my screw assortment with me and he wants to walk up on this side every time so i'm going to move these over here 
Hey, Tracy, welcome. Move all of these over here. I've got a, quite a mess on this. Okay, that's better. <laughs> cat Genie, every time a cat uses it, I get a notification. Someone visited Cat Genie. That's funny. Okay, so we have two extrusions here. Now, I did, when I built this, this printer, I did a couple of extra things. Um, I, I uh, instead of just using regular M3 blind nuts, you're gonna, is your heater still on? Um, so normally, for a blind nut setup, right? You you take a an extrusion and you thread the screw into the end, then you have a wrench access hole, and when you tighten this down, it makes a rigid joint, right? Um, in my overthinking of this, and I'm gonna continue this for this build because I already have it, um, and you've seen me do this on the, the, the last Trident build, on, on pooches at least partially. What happens is when you tighten down a regular fastener against the, the extrusion, it can have a tendency to shift because you're sliding the head of that screw um, against the, the extrusion here. So what I had done on here was go a little extra and probably a little, a little much extra but I took some square nuts and I drilled out the center to make a big square washer. And now what I did there is, um, now when you go here, there's just enough room to, oops, which one do I have here? There's just enough room to slide that in still with that square nut. And now what happens is, the square nut stays stationary and the head of that M3 slides against that square nut and you get much less shifting in that joint as you're tightening it down. Does that make sense? This is completely extra and not necessary, but I did it and I'm gonna keep doing it for this, for this particular build. A standard M3 washer. Um, I don't remember if it was too wide. Let's, let's find out. I've got a, I've got an M3 washer here. Um, yes, a standard M3 washer was too wide. That's, that's why I didn't do that. But I have these little zinc coated thin M3 nuts that I just clamped in my drill press and drilled just a three millimeter hole through them. Yeah, so I on a full-size 2020 frame, an M5 washer works. And on many of my builds, I have put an M5 washer there in between, especially on the Y extrusions um, that the Y rails bolt to on a Trident because getting those lined up is so critical that minimizing the amount that they shift as you're tightening them down is worth it. If you do it anywhere, that's, that's the spot to do it. So, with that in mind, that is where we're gonna go with, um, with this build. Um, I'm just looking at what orientation I wanna put stuff. These are gonna go something like this. These are our Ys, so this is gonna go something like this. Modbot had issues with the extrusion shifting when tightening this week, yeah. So I think that's all gonna go just like that not at a point where we need to use our reference surface yet and we can do this now and that there we go <laughs> okay so and let's put some so for that we're going to put those in the ends here I milled a little bracket that fits in the 1515 groove to hold the extrusions in place while tightening. Nice. 
there's one. And I, I mean, I've got all of these that I, I, I kept all the fasteners when I disassembled this, so we might as well do the same thing, putting it back together. So that is, that goes there, and that goes there. And then we need preload two M3 nuts. And this is another case where I did a little extra. I, I had a ton of these Maker Beam um, uh, nuts, and I used those just for the extra surface area here. Let's loosen this. There we go. So that, oops. There we go, I like that. So that, and I already have these. These are all assemblies that I had pulled out. So it's all, all already done. There, there, there. Phones mom I had were related to some other issue having shavings in the punch holes still inside the extrusion. That's right, I remember seeing that. Okay, so that is what I used there. That should be that. And then, so that's the, oh, and then we need to preload two, um, two M3 nuts inside the, inside here for mounting the Z stepper motor for mount. So I'm going to pull one of these out and put a couple of tweezers, a ton of these nuts. It's a safe investment. Oh, it was like a pack of a hundred and you need two of them for the build. Maybe it was a pack of 50. Okay, so pre-insert two, two M3 nuts there for the, for the Z stepper mount. I'm gonna just use a regular, so this originally had the, where is it? This originally had this setup which is a NEMA 14 that mounted behind the printer. So this is the build area this way, and this is the electronics compartment. So V0.0 had a NEMA 14 back here with a little, a little belt that went to a, a lead screw um, for Z. A finicky setup to get right. This printer did excellent, did a great print, uh, produced great parts when I was running it but I like the integrated lead screw better. What are we at? We are an hour and 20 minutes away from Polymaker Filament giveaway. We're at a, on almost 150 likes, 230 people here. Half a euro per nut in 3D printing shops in Germany, ouch. Ouch. Okay. Hey, Dr. Ronnie. So any other, we need to pay extra attention to preload because that's what's gonna get me. Your like has been liked, awesome. Preloading nuts and orientation and assembly. So that's the way that the, the rails are going to go. We have a nut check two and three nuts there. And then we're gonna, okay, so we're gonna put those two on there first. So if I, so if I turn this over, get this good lead. Come on. That. A lot more fiddly to get in. I need to get better tweezers. Where are my other tweezers? Where are my other tweezers? There they are. Okay. There we go. That's going there, and we're going to temporarily tighten this down a little bit. Oop, and that is the wrong screw on that. Okay, these have the wrong screws. 
like something about that is the wrong screw. Because that tightened down into the frame. And I don't want it to do that. So let's swap these out. Why is that? That's weird. Why is that? It's the same size as this. That's got to be an M3 by 8 or by 6. I just drilled and tapped a few holes in my V0 frame because I lost nuts during another rework and didn't notice. So it actually flagged that message for review. I just drilled and tapped a few holes in my V0 frame because I lost nuts during other. So nuts caused that to, to get flagged. Let's show. Then you guys can see it. <laughs> Hey, Thrasher. Okay, I think I need some M3. Let me see if an M3 by six will fit here because an M3 by eight is pushing through the, is bottoming out. And I don't know how that worked before. Is this gonna work? There we go. So that goes there. That goes. Yeah, and then three by six is what should be there. Why was I using eights before? There we go. Okay. I need to swap those out for M3 by sixes. Oh no, that's not your problem, Andrew. That's just YouTube being dumb. A little aggressive on the on the content filter. A little aggressive on the content filter. Oh, I hope I have enough in three by sixes. Set screws have been holding pulleys, sleeves, drives for far longer than running a lead screw. Calling it bad design might be a bit over the top. Who? Called what? Someone called something a bad design? Set screws holding pulley to lead screws. I don't like, I, I, I'd have to agree. I don't like the um, set screws into lead screws. Just because it goobers up the lead screw threads. Mm, and then this goes on here. There we go. We'll just temporarily tighten this down. There we go. Okay. So that's that. And then on the back here, we need to preload three M3 nuts. According to this, we need to preload three M3 nuts on each side. And then the top can go on. So one, two, three. We're going to do a set screw and then you should set it against a shaped Call it key. Okay, so one, two, three on each side. The retail costs will mostly do the overheads of storing and handling them. What are we talking? Then back over I'm gonna swap these out for in three by sixes as well hey Jax uh, 
I don't know how I had this working before. Whoa. <clears throat> Which days of the Bay Area Maker Fair are you going to attend? I don't know. Um, I, um, what is, what is the weekend that is Orange County Maker Fair? Because I think I'm going to attend that and then maybe try to hit um, Bay Area, the, the Mare Island Maker Fair the other weekend. Okay, so if that one's done, then this one needs swapped out. Let's see, is the second week, is the second weekend. So I would, if any, I would hit the first weekend of the Bay Area Maker Fair. Yeah, I think the Rocky Mountain Rep Festival 2024 has been officially announced. Yep. Two times the space. We will absolutely be there. That is no doubt. JC, thanks for the gifted memberships. I will definitely make the Mare Island one. I might make the OC one two. Good. Some of these little nuts that I drilled out are um, have more clearance than others. So I'm just getting them. There we go. Getting them set up. So now this. Goes in there. This one. It's in there. There we go. Was Rocky Mountain the inaugural Death Racer battle? No, it was the inaugural um, Drag Racer battle, though. Um, Death Racer stuff happened very first at Murph 2022 and then more at Earth 2022. Will you go to Smurf? I am planning on going to Smurf. JC, you're welcome. Thanks for being here. OC is too much of a drive for me. Well, I, if I do OC, I'm going to be driving and I'm going to be taking printers with me. So we'll see. My family are in OC, so I can just fire a road trip. And you have to go to Disneyland though. What what a what a burden. I, I, some people might think so for sure. Truly. Okay, wrench access. We got those. Then we're going to use a couple of temporary rails here um, to line everything up. So we're gonna grab a couple of the these two. Um these two or these two, I guess we'll use these two. Oh, that's interesting. Where would these go otherwise? Because this has some pretty, I thought this would have been one of them I used here. Huh, interesting. That is one of them I would have used there. Oh, well. That goes. It goes in there. So er here, it's something that just reminded me. This is an early LDO frame kit. If you look at the profile, let's see if I can get this to focus. You'll notice it's not, um, it's not even. Um, this, this one is different. Three of them are the same. One of them's different. I can't get that. Come on, come on. There. that's probably as good a view as I can get. This one here 
is different than the other three. So I have to pay attention to how that assembles because it doesn't fit. That's that. And there's that. And we'll get rid of my mat here in a second when we go to actually tighten these down. But right now, I'm just kind of getting things squared up a little bit. Oh, oh, lost it. Settle back down, Charlie. Oops, put that in the, in the wrong one. There we go. Leo the Human, will you be at Bay Area Maker Fair? Or are you SoCal local? Are you gonna be at Orange County? Okay, so all of these need to be loosened a little bit, just so things can... And then let me move some of these fasteners out of the way. and get rid of my mat here so I get a truly, a more truly flat surface. Oh, what do we got? In fact, I just got a membership is what notified me you were alive. Hey, flying lunatic, welcome. Why is the hair shaved off of Charlie's right paw? Because he went in and he was going to have surgery to remove what we thought was a bladder stone, but the pre up x-rays showed that instead it's a mass and the most likely scenario is it's probably cancerous um, it is aggressive it is growing um, a couple of months ago it was the size of a short stack of quarters now it's bigger than a golf ball so that shaving on his right paw is from the pre-op um, so they didn't get so far as having to um, do any other prep though. Okay. Copy done. Okay. So if we go back here, what we are doing here is we're going to build on our flat surface and we are going to hold those together and we want about 58 millimeters in between the ends. So let's go. First thing we're going to do is set up our frame here. So I am going to on the flats. I'm just going to make sure that I have this bolted in square on both sides. And I know you can't quite see that. But what I'm feeling for is those to be flush that's all that matters on this is that these be flush on both sides and then we do the same thing on this side did i miss the fact that you now stream from a different place well right now i'm streaming from the other garage because this is where i streamed when we did the pooch um trident build so then making sure that this is flush um, and I haven't moved back yet. These are all falling out of here, so we'll fix that in a bit. Um, I haven't moved back because that's a lot of effort. <laughs> and I like having extra space here. So I think I'm gonna stream here until I reorganize the other shop, and then I'm gonna move back there. Thanks, Puzzlis. And then get the last one of these. So now what these, these extra extrusions on the side are just squaring up the top and bottom extrusion. 
now we can get the Z extrusions in place. How many garages do you have? I like this setup better. I do like this setup, but I have some ideas for the other. I have two garages. I have one, uh, the, the garage I, I normally, I used to stream from is a single car garage. It's about 10 feet wide and 16 feet deep is over here. And this is where all my printers are, where my regular computer is, where my workbench is, is over here. 90 degrees to that right here is a two car garage. It's 20 by 20. That's where I am right now. I needed more space when we were doing the pooch stream. Excuse me. So this is where, this is where I am right now. It does look like I have more elbow room, but I think I can get the same thing, excuse me, in the, um, in the other garage. Something in the back of my throat. It's building a V24 in the smaller room. No, this is where the V24 will get built. Yeah. Okay. Now we are going to get these back and lined up. Grab my tweezers. Doing this little extra nuts in the, in the, for the blind joints does make it a little more fiddly to line up. There we go. And then the instructions here say 58 millimeters. So 58 plus 15 is what, 73? So we're gonna set my thing here to 73. Oh, it was 73 when I locked it in. It was 73.0 when I started to tighten it down. I gotta, I gotta try. There we go. <laughs> hey, um, L F F F F K O. <laughs> well, seventy three point zero zero is better than seventy two point nine nine, right? Okay, so it says about fifty eight millimeters. So we are going to hold that there. Hold that there and just start to tighten this down. Do the same thing over here. Make sure that this is perpendicular. And then double check. And I ended up getting it flush, perfectly flush on the end. Yeah, that's... That's good. So that's our reference point now. And the other one gets gets put in. It'll it'll end up getting adjusted, but we'll just put it in right now. not flush let me do that again what we can do is grab grab a helper here um let's grab a instead of that one two three blocks it's taller let's go there and So let's set this here. One, two, three block there. This right there. That's good. And the bottom one just needs this. Just like that. Monkey Butler Labs, without giving away the secret funnel cake recipe, our newborn release is coordinated in any way with manufacturers now that kits are ready at or shortly after announcement. Um, 
there, there, there is definitely a consideration. It's not a driving factor in what we, what we do when we're, gonna, when we're planning on making a change, um, but there is a little bit of heads up that's given. Hey, Firewind X from Germany, welcome. What's the error on the calipers? Where's your measurement system analysis? I don't, it doesn't really matter. Um, if it says 73.00, then my OCD is happy. Regardless of what the actual, um, whatever is on that. <laughs> Hey, Laura, welcome. I'm just getting here. You missed Charlie playing with his uh, new treat ball. But we are working on a V0.2 update. Well, V0.0 to V0.2 upgrade. Prevent the Voron hug. Yeah. Okay. Back here. So that is basically assembled right now. We'll have to tweak one side of this when we put the actual bed uh the the kirigami on and then we got one more of the end stops to put on that's here too but he's driving hi sean there it is one more of these Just a little end stop. This looks like a V0.2 scratch build to me. Well, basically. But I'm using all the parts that were my V0.0. He just waved at me. <laughs> okay. That... And then we're getting into the <laughs> the the bed, the ancient art of kirigami. If you have the kirigami bed kit, you can attach it now and skip to page 47. Don't forget to attach your drag chain end link. You can find the files that are specific to the kirigami bed at this location. So I am doing a kirigami bed. So let me grab this. I bought. And I don't remember where I bought, because it's been a while, but I did buy a blue Kirigami bed, the upgrade kit from LDO, specifically for this build. I also have a blue um, Revo Voron that'll be used for the, for the hot end on this. So let's get, uh, let's leave some of this in here. <clears throat> so it says we can, you can attach it now. Let's see what we need to do to attach this. First of all, take this and see how, bend these a little bit. So I'm testing the, how flat this is. Across there. There we go. Don't forget to check the bends. Is that what I'm doing right now? Checking the bends? Yeah, that's, that's very flat across there. Now let's see how it lines up on here. It actually looks pretty good, so we'll see. Blue on blue on blue. Yep. Are the blue Revo Vorons sold individually? Couldn't find them yet. I have seen them. I don't remember what vendor. I check West 3D, Fabrico, um, KB3D. Um, I saw them when I was looking for, because I, it might have been West 3D, because I ordered, I realized that I didn't want to use these steppers, I realized this is all I had um, this last Thursday. That's when I realized. So I placed an order on Thursday 
uh, because West 3D is closest to me and I got the 52 millimeter steppers here yesterday. <laughs> Um, with this being an old V0, does it have the tooth idlers on the gantry? No, I built it. I'm, yeah, I built it originally with um, stacked bearings. Even V0.0, I built it with stacked bearings instead of the tooth idlers. I went against the grain. Is West 3D legit? Of course. Huge fan of West 3D for those of us on the West Coast. Yeah. Yep. So I try, I spread when I order things. I, 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 so many of our vendors are so wonderful. I spread it out and a, a lot of it will depend on how soon I need it. Um, if I really need it quick, like I forgot to order these, I'll go to West 3D, just be ge geography. <clears throat> but I'll order from uh, Printed Solid, Phil Estruder, Fabrico, KB3D, West 3D. I'm currently deciding whether to go against the grain and use the tooth idlers on V0.2 because black. <laughs> okay, so we need to get this set up. So the other thing, while I was there, and I know I have another Igus chain around here somewhere that I know I ordered from KB3D, but I saw this on West 3D's site, so I went ahead and ordered the igus chain from them in the same order and we have some printed parts to put on here i think let's see this i've got the Wago mount. Oh yeah, that's right. That's right. L remind me after um, after the Polymaker filament giveaway is done to put a link to the Meet the Maker stream up and pin it. Yeah, so Meet the Maker West 3D is hosting at um, 4 p.m. Western time today. Gathering the bits and pieces for this. I think that's the main ones for the bed. Yeah, Heart K is on is on tonight. Yep, that's gonna be a blast. I'm at the AB motor mounts wondering when you mount the motor, is it two Ugga Duggas or three? Or just wait for the crackle. Um, if you wait for the crackle, then you got to go back and, and reprint. But is Kirigami bed worth it? I really liked Kirigami beds. They're on all of my V-Zeros, Biney. That is the wrong Wago mount if you are using the LDO kit for the Kirigami bed. Um, I'm not using the full thing i let's see i may you you may be right susan um and actually you are i need to i need to print the other one you're you're right susan i forgot that the the kirigami the ldo kit here comes with the little thermistor adapter as well as the led so i'll have to reprint that um i appreciate that reminder i'm gonna reprint this piece but that's not critical. I'm not going to be wiring any of this this time, but that's a that's a good reminder. That little thing is such a nice quality of life upgrade. Yeah. Okay. So how does this go? I think this goes... There's something... Oh yeah, that goes right there. So this neat, neat little wire path thing goes right here and I think probably a heat set in there and then this piece goes on here I'll need a few heat sets in that bed leveling on the, is manual on the v0 yep 
how often do you have to level the bed every time you print or just once in a while? Once in a great while. I don't remember the last time I leveled the bed on my um, gold V0 that I use often. Now, the nice thing about the V0.2 spec and, um, and homing to Z max is that you don't have to worry about hitting the the if the end stop was at z min and you can do some um, baby stepping for um, fine adjustment e more easily with the new setup okay so that goes in there i'll need three hits heat sets on this one on this and two in here so let's do that i have my vector 3d heat set press we're going to use that. I feel like the V0 bed gets a little floppy from ABS temps. I was fighting keeping the Z offset before Kirigami. It worked okay for me before Kirigami. Kirigami just seems a lot more uh, stable and consistent. Go. Is that on? Yep, that's on. And we've got so this is the um, Vector 3D heat set press that I built a few streams ago. Now I've modified it since then. I I got rid of the rubber um, the rubber grip on this cheap Amazon iron that I bought. And, um, hi Charlie. And because it was a little floppy in there. Um, and then I modified the mount here to have two screws to actually clamp it in place. So now, should be able to go like that. And, um, you need to not be over here. You need to stay over here. That's hot, and you're gonna try to rub your nose against it and get burnt. That would be bad. Okay. Can we actually see what I'm doing here? There we go, there's one. And... I don't, I think I'm completely in the way there. Maybe that'll work. scam DLMP that's it let's see oh there we go a little better a little view of the whole setup okay is that all I need oh no I need two more in here so let's just do this two more down in here one I actually like this thing, and I don't mean actually as in I didn't expect to, but I actually I, I didn't expect to just go for it instead of just manually inserting them. Kind of nice to have this just here and ready to go. Hey, Ryan, welcome. Thanks for being here. The Charlie litter box cam. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Here, I'll do that. 
<laughs> Speaking of new tools, Gotswinter showed off most amazing Swiss tool screwdriver for universal screw heads. It's those Phillips flat posi screws that come in Chinese power supply strips. Interesting. Okay, is your bed still heating, Charlie? Because I know you want it. There we go. Heated bed back. There we go. Okay. Made me buy a Hodo screwdriver and I accidentally bought their cordless Dremel like tool I was while I was at it. How do you like it? <laughs> I mean I need some privacy. Yeah. <laughs> I can go back there. Now, this thing. This thing goes right here. What is that? Oh, it's a zip tie spot. Okay. So this kind of locks into a little spot there. This is clever. I like it. And then sits down in there. This is a really nice little piece. I'm going to print this for my other ones. And then. I'm gonna use one of these M3x8s because I'm short on M3x6s. Locks in from the bottom here. No, oh, there we go. Okay, so that locks in there. And then we have the LED. Oh, I didn't print the, the diffuser. Okay, that's something I'm gonna have to print next. I forgot to print the little diffuser piece that goes in here. I'm gonna leave this out for right now then. Remember. But this can go here, which is two and three by sixes and two hex nuts. X nut and oh, I don't have my I don't have I don't have my um, Nipex pliers out here. Nipex, Nipex, however you say it. Ordered a keyless chuck for the Hodo Dremel thing. I'll have to look that up. Because I wouldn't mind a little cordless Dremel that, uh, if it works well. I did not put the LED in here yet because I forgot to print the diffuser. So that'll have to go in later. But that's okay. It's not going to impact, have too much of an impact on the ability to get this assembled to the level we're going to get to today. So that goes there, and then can I get away with a eight millimeter screw here? Yes. An M6, an M3 by six is probably what's supposed to go there, but an eight millimeter is perfect. Okay, so that is, that's a clever little piece. Do a good job with that. And then the, install that later. I don't have to install the, um, one of the nice things about the way the, the V0.2 uh, Z cable chain goes is you can install this after the fact. You don't have to do this ahead of time like you did on the V0 and V0.1. Okay, so now I think this can go on here. No, we need the, we need the other part. That's the other part after that. This piece. I'm gonna put this on. So, heat set time again. What's the gray filament? Sorry, I missed the start. That is um, Polymaker's um, Galaxy Dark Gray ABS. 
Nipex. It's a silent K. Nipex. Ooh, there we go. I need four of these. That's gonna go right like that. Here. Hmm. Galaxy Dark Gray ABS. And then this is um, Light Blue ABS from Playmaker as well. Let's see if this is hot enough. Yep, nice and straight. Swedish, you pronounce the K and KN word, so is Knorr. Great Scott pronounces the K. Is that for us non speakers? They are awesome pliers, regardless of how you pronounce it. I'm not super thrilled with how much material there is uh, for these other heat sets on this. I feel like there's no reason for there not to be more material here. Uh, there might be a reason, but I'd be curious if it could be thickened up there. Just found a diffuser on my desk. It's crammed with V0.2. I don't need a mask. <laughs> I'm, I probably have one printed out because I, I usually print several of them. Yeah, I think this could use more material here. Or if at least the, the hole could be slightly undersized because you're not going to push... It's not gonna get in the way when you push plastic out of the way. I'd like to see a little more meat. Okay, so now this is gonna go, this slides in here and it actually has to slide in where the last one could go in from there. This stealthified one has to slide in and then we need four and three by sixes. And do not over tighten these because there this is like one ugga dugga or less. Because that will snap the plastic around the back side of this. Top ones you can tighten down a little bit more. Yeah, the emoji bug is dumb that they haven't fixed that. That's a big YouTube fail. So there, there, and then not many Ugga Duggas on there. 0.98 Ugga Duggas. Maybe 0.99 or 0.91 less. Oh, that was a, you know what? That's fine. Woo. I'm gonna put a eight millimeter in this one also. Is that an old version print? No, I just downloaded these um, Kirigami stuff. This is the, the stealthified nut mount. 
Not that you actually see it when it's on the printer. He's talking about the one who was forcing Bill to buy screwdrivers. Okay, so now this is going to go on here. And it comes with some really teeny tiny M2x4s. How many Voron logos does one sub-assembly need? All of them, apparently. All of them. Okay, so I'm not tightening these down. Just get things lined up. All the Voron logos need to be rainbow barf too. Sure. I can be on board with that. <laughs> These are at a little bit of an angle here, so it's probably better to get them started by hand. So we don't cross thread them. And these these are a good candidate um, for a little bit of blue Loctite as well. You're going metal part into screwing into metal piece. Hey, PF Dennis, welcome. Okay, so I'm going to leave this one in, but the other ones are all actually, that actually is not bad. It can probably be a little better though. So we are going to push this against a reference top before I tighten these down. Does the Loctite have to match the color scheme? Um, well, only if, only if your color scheme is blue. If your color scheme is red, then no. So then you're never getting them out and you don't want to heat up these carriages. So I'm making sure this is all square by just pushing it against the those. Then I'm tightening these down because it's really close. But what I'm also going to do is now loosen this frame rail side. And let these, this has to come out to get to that, that bolt. Loosen those and then move this side to side to kind of so there to there. It was likely covered and I missed it, but you're missing a stop on that left rail. The stop on this rail is the end stop the this one gets a regular printed stop this one gets the micro switch end stop so it's not missing i've got the little stopper in the here just to make sure that i don't accidentally push past it but that'll end up being an end stop piece that goes on here hey Lutian. okay so this is a little rough i'm not not super thrilled with that. So let's see what we can do about that. And I'm not sure if it's spacing. 
or if it's or if it's tweaking the or if it's tweaking the rails this way from the the pieces here so do we need to tweak all of this back um, into places because that's that's pretty pretty stiff hey Gary This is also not very, not very flat. Why is that? This isn't getting better when I loosen, when I loosen the rail. It shifts, but I think it's more because of the, um, see, that doesn't get better when I loosen both of those screws. So I think it's in this printed, I mean, in the Kirigami bed. So let's pull this all apart and see if we can straighten that up a bit. Make sure the tabs on the Kirigami are straight or parallel. Yep, and that's where we're, that's where we're gonna check now. So we're gonna pull these out, pull it all the way off again. Now I checked them before I bolted this printed piece in. I think I need to line things up after that printed piece is bolted on. I did check it, but not after I bolted that piece on. So we're going to pull this all the way up. And before I lose this, I'm going to just snug this down. There we go. A little bit of extra time here is going to... It's going to show in the final build. What do we got? We got 25 minutes until... Holy Maker filament giveaway. We're not at 200 likes yet, um, but we are at almost or 260 people here. The similar rebuilt my Kirigami. For me, the carriage holes and nut block mount just over constrain things a bit. Yep. Okay, are you going to update the extruder to use a rigged uh, BMG? No, because I don't have that. Only attach one rail, it'll be smoother that way. We have 8-bit people. We did! 250, 256 now. Page 47 and 48 in the manual covers Z alignment also. Are we talking about this manual or... 46 and 47, so let's skip all of this stuff and go down to... Yep. So I did that, and this is this is where we found out that I think the the issue is in the alignment of this once this printed part is is put in. Hi, Charlie. So let's see. Let's grab this and see if I can line things up. I just want to, because I've got a printed part here now. So, how does this... I think that needs to go in, and I hope I don't break it as I'm doing this. Yes, Dennis, thanks for gifting memberships. I had the same problem with Kurigami during my upgrade and ended up changing the rails to a set with slightly less preload. That could work too. I've had to tweak these every one I've installed. This is this is definitely normal for setting these up. I'm just kind of trying to use a straight edge to eyeball where where things are. And we'll probably have to redo this a few times. Tweak it, test it, tweak it again. I'm 
What do we got here? Did I miss something? I got PF Dennis's memberships. Awesome. Yep. Fire resistance just means you need to increase the motor current. I think for the most part, it can be fairly stiff and be just fine. But let's do what we can to get it as good as we can and then move on. I'm just getting these started by hand because I don't want to, because the angles, angle of attack on these isn't great. I think Charlie's probably wondering if there's more treats somewhere. So with all those loose, it moves pretty smooth across here, right? So what we're trying to get to, and you're going to lose all these tiny screws up for me, aren't you, Charlie? Try to get to is a point where it's smooth with it tight. Okay, so we're going to... Push these up against here, a reference surface here, and then snug all of these down. Probably in some crisscross pattern. If only Steve had some kind of hex trays. Well, yeah. Yeah, see it. It's a little better. Not a lot. Let's see if we loosen this. Oh, there we go. Kept finding that if I loosen the nut block and tighten the carriage screws, it moved great or vice versa. Yeah, this is better. Not a lot better, but it is better. It's the frame twisted. Not really. There's a little bit of a thing here, but. say oh. I think we need some more tweaking tweaking in this way but which way Let's try something. Let's loosen this a little bit. Oh yeah, that's quite a bit better, like you like you said. But it's also off. So let's loosen all of these again. And the problem is you needed 72.99, not 73. Good call, John. Okay, so here's something I'm noticing, and it might be hard to see. When I loosen these, the whole thing twisted this way, which means I might want to take this off and tweak the tweak the kirigami that way, the, in the opposite direction. Hey, Ramaline. 
How are you doing? I'm here, gonna listen on the way to Arizona. Hey, Danny. Here, I'm gonna use my my tray over here. There we go. So I don't lose these. We're gonna we're spending a little more time on here because I want to see if we can get it running smoother and just kind of prove the the whole take a little extra time, get a little better result. And this is, you don't want to gloss over that you just put this together and it just works. Chris, thank you. I ended up using the old non-stealth nut block. It didn't seem to cause as much constraining. Interesting. Just looking at how this loosened or shifted when I loosened it up has me with an idea of how to tweak this off the printer. Okay. So this side shifted down and this up when I took it off. So I'm going to take that nut block all the way off so I don't crack it. I'm gonna chat for a while. Toddler woke up. Is, is chat loud? Or you just have to step away. <laughs> okay. So if this comes off of here now, I want to tweak that that way, I think. Oop, no, actually bent it. I didn't want to bend it. So let's see here. We go here. Needs to bend like that. That's pretty lined up. Okay. Charlie's Angels next weekend. Yes. Yes, we will be we will we'll be assembling another um, Nerf Dart Blaster because that was fun last time, and this one should even be a little more powerful than the last one. It's a bolt action blaster. Okay, so I'm gonna leave these a little loose right now, but I've tweaked things a little bit. Maybe a single part jig could help align those tabs, tightening the printed piece. Maybe. Okay, now we're gonna put this back on here and see how things line up. So the bolt action blaster doesn't only put dents in your door, but goes straight through, possibly. So we're gonna put that up against there. Get some of these going. Not tight, just tighten those after. Oh, 
the stretch. I ask only that the new members stomp on the like button. Stomp on the like button and subscribe. My, my daily increase has slowed down. I actually got a negative one yesterday. Negative one subscriber. That's happened three times now since I started streaming, which I think is really rather good, but that's only happened three times. It is Polymaker. It's uh, Polymaker's light blue. I'm gonna tighten these down. You know, I can't complain. I feel like for what I do, being at 9,300 whatever subscribers, so that is right now way better. That's there. Now let's slowly tighten this up and see what happens. Right there, it's way better, which means I loosen this a bit and do that and then over here, oops, there. Some people leave when they find out the channel is really Steve Unbuilds. That is way better. It's not perfect, but that's way better than it was. It's it's more consistent, it's still tight, but these are also a pretty high preload um, rail, but it is smoother across the whole way than it was. Now it's not drop on its own, um, and I think I might be able to improve that a little more over here, but that is way better than it was. This. Yeah, right there. Oh. I'm here whole time working hard on moderating boron stuff and dispersing a few cereals. Thank you, Sanity. You're awesome. I'm gonna call that good. It's pretty smooth the whole way. It's stiff, but these are also a higher preload rail. Yeah. Okay, so now these were, just make sure I got all these tight. Oh, cat box. Give him his privacy. Superpower motor for the Z. <laughs> It'll be fine. This guy can go back on the bottom. Okay, where are we now? And what are we? Nine minutes till, oh, we got nine minutes and only 51 likes to go. Can we do it? 51 likes to go in nine minutes. We've done it before. Maybe I'll bring Charlie over. Nine minutes and 51. 50. Daniel, hello, how are you here? I like the way you do your inserts. Do you have any recommendations for building similar ones? The inserts on the, what do you mean inserts? It's rally time. Hey, Hobbit. Is this Hobbit that just got Boron Switchwire 666? Oh, 283, down to 17 needed. 17, 16. Congratulations. 16 to go. 16 to go in eight minutes. Probably means the heat set press. So the heat set press is Vector 3D. He's based out of the UK though. So it can be a little pricey to ship if you're ordering it from the US. Ah. 
Five more to go. Holy moly. We're actually going to do it. Hey, Charlie, where are you going? <laughs> I would like it again if I could. Five more to go and still less than eight minutes. Four more. Okay, now it says four. There must be a delay on what it's showing me. What are you doing? <laughs> you can buy the files for the press and order the parts from China. Yep, that is true. That's a good point. That's a very good point. Is Vector, is Adam still here? Thanks, James, for being a member for 14 months. What else do we have here? Did it again. 303 MG20 TX. Thanks for being a member. Push in plastic. Thanks for being a member. I just bought the files for the V3D VLMP. Sorts the parts and build my own. Awesome. I think it's worth it. I, I like it. it. It frees up. It frees up a hand really when you're doing it because you can you can set a set an insert. You can set your insert and then put something over it and just let it go. And it just goes up to a safe position. It's the kitty. Let's go back here. <laughs> we got six more minutes. Happy 300. Woohoo. Ah, oh, what do we have? Nobody can use demonic portals to kick their arses. Sure. It's a number that represents its name converted to Hebrew. It's Nero 3D. <laughs> okay, we are getting close. Be sure. Link is in the description or the pinned post. McDonald, thanks for gifting the memberships. I'll do some cat petting and figure out. Okay, so what the instructions here are saying is basically the going through what we did, trying to get this aligned as well as possible. The distances, all this tramming and more tramming and even more tramming. And then we get to set up the end stop. Are you going to have a dragster for Earth? I'm not, Scott. Only because of the logistics of getting it there. Um, I guess I say I'm not, but if I can figure out if it's not too bad to ship, then that would be the only way, because I can't, I'm not gonna travel with that and expect it to make it. Um, I won't say not, but I'll, I'll have to look at what it's gonna take to ship one. Um, thoughts on blind joints versus corner brackets. Um, blind, I'm fine with blind joints. I've, I've built printers with both. Um, I think the blind joints are probably a little easier, but I'm not sure. Evil, Charlie's doing pretty good. He's here, he's hanging. He's hanging with us, he's getting pets. He got treats earlier. How do Texan has a folding version that'll fit your, fit your suitcase? Hmm, interesting. Maybe I need to learn more about that. Um, Troy, thanks for the gifted memberships resistors are non-directional right random question correct resistors are not polarized rat rig uses metal corner brackets are you talking about corner cubes or the angle brackets let's have a great turnout for next week's charlie stream yes james thanks for the gifted memberships I'd almost suspect they had a very bad problem shipping printers in the past. <laughs> a little bit. One day I need to work on that thing. Oh, uh, what do we got? Three more minutes. Getting ready to do my first printer on 2.4. Thanks for all the videos. Helped a bunch. Awesome. I'm glad to have helped. The ones I've used on roller hand printers, they are not squares, but connect all three extrusions. Okay. So the cons a big, if, if we're talking 
corner cubes or any of these devices, any corner cubes, corner brackets, more often than not, the ones I've bought are not actually square. So if you're gonna use them, check them for square and correct them if you need. Ship it to me, then I'll bring it in my trailer. I'll see what I can do, Scott, because it would be nice. I, I was thinking about bringing the Death Racer as carry-on, but the Drag Racer is just so hard. I'd have to, Oh, I have, I wonder if they're long enough. I have a bunch of boxes now. I have a bunch of boxes that I could potentially use. What do we got? We got, we got a shoulder shot of Masumi boxes. <laughs> that might be long enough. <sighs> hey, George. Hey, Charles. Still waiting for the Trident rebuild. I know, so am I. It's easier to reach with printer design that doesn't use blind joints. Usually that requires a custom frame. Well, it requires some drilling, yeah. I have, I've, I've had six, seven of those boxes show up. There's a lot of boxes. Shipping in pieces, I might know how to put one together. I drive to Earth, could ship anything to me and I'll drive it down. Sounds like I have lots of options. We'll, we'll look at that. Pretty sure I shorted out my octopus port on my trident. Ooh, almost giveaway time. One more minute. Bryce, you and Charles need to get together. Controller and controller and MCU bad luck. It sounds like. Will Printers France be doing a 120 millimeter version of the V24? <laughs> Who's going to make a flex plate for the V24? I have one. Chuggy, thanks for the gifted memberships. It is, oh, it's almost time. I thought it would be time. Let's see where we're going now. Oops. Screw. <laughs> One of the screws that got knocked over before. Let's think about taking a train if I decide to go. Fun. It is one o'clock. So it is Polymaker filament giveaway time. Let's bring up Let's bring up this and let's bring up the thing. So we are going to close the giveaway when I haven't had a new response in three seconds. So if you haven't, if you haven't entered, you have three seconds to do so. Well, three seconds without a new response. So three, two, one. Oh, there's one. 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 Seriously, there was one. Oh, there's another one. Three, two, one, and... Think we're done? We're done. Oh, okay, it's back open. Three, nope, three. <laughs> I gotta figure out. I gotta. I gotta be better about this. But there's, there's, there's new entries. I don't want to leave anyone out. Three, two, one, done. Oh, oh. done. There we go. <laughs> oh boy. I actually don't see chat right now, so bear with me. Oh, yeah. Little Brat was very first entry. Who got in that last entry? Robert. Make sure I... Okay. Let's see. Why do you feed the trolls like that? just a fun game for everyone absolutely that's i mean i wouldn't do it if it wasn't fun should be a wrestling ref 
Put it on a bot to close it. <laughs> nah, that's more fun. Just want to say I messed up my name. Enjoy waiting for the end just for the fun of it. Okay, here we go. So let's put in, let's paste the names. And what numbers are we going to, what numbers are we going to go between? So we have 318 likes right now. We need a number between three and 18. Number between three and 18. Number between three and 18. We're gonna shuffle between three and 18. We have 300 people here. 117. Do, 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 do. I see, see a bunch of 11s. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and spin. So you must be here to win. You must say something in chat if your name is drawn. Someone will see you. You didn't say an integer. <laughs> um, here we are. Who is it? Who do we have? Dark for eons. Dark for eons. Are you here? You have two minutes to say something in chat. I'm, I'm here. Jose is here. Dark for eons. Congratulations. And you are here. Awesome. You will get an email from me. I try not to make it too long, but sometimes I get distracted. So if I get distracted more than a couple of days, feel free to reach out, but I try not to. And I've got a good email for you. You are good. Congratulations. Congratulations. Let's go ahead and delete that. And let's go back to unpin this unpin and then we're going to go over here and we're going to go to YouTube and we're going to search for West 3D and meet the maker heart K. So meet the maker. I'm going to copy this and after this stream, be sure to go check out meet the maker. West 3D's Meet the Maker. There we go. In that message. So. Yep. So giveaway done. Thank you again, Polymaker, for giving us that little bit of fun every stream. I hope we are not going till 4 p.m. We are not. We are not. We will be going probably, I'll cap it, cap it at about 2 o'clock. Um, another hour. Get a, get a little more progress on this. Um, the bed I'm feeling pretty good about. So. Um, Gary, are you behind? Are you behind on the, or are we answering another question in there? Okay, back here. We are going to work on the... I won the giveaway on July 2nd, but haven't gotten an email from you. Um, I am s fairly certain I was caught up. Everybody give me a second, because I'm going to forget otherwise. Asif Tainly? Firecat, thanks for the gifted memberships. Um, I very well may have missed that, um, but let me let me check real quick. Let me check my sent emails. Give me a moment. Yeah. It looks like I did miss it. I will... That would be the 31, right? That was giveaway 31. You said, you said, no, that's, that's not 31. Um, giveaway 32. 
34, 33, it would have been 32. Yeah. On the second. Yeah. I've got the record here. I don't have a record of sending it. I apologize. I'll get you sorted. Thank you for the reminder. Okay. I will get you sorted out. Sorry about that. That does not make me happy. I'm not thrilled with that. Did your LCD ever bothered you enough that you just didn't complete something? Oh, <laughs> yeah. No worries. Just want to make sure I didn't miss it. No, you didn't. I, uh, I don't know why I would have missed that. What was going on around there? I did have extra days off, so I was doing more things <laughs> because of the 4th of July. So that's probably it. Okay. End stop. Z end stop. This is one of the... This is one of the updates for, um, this is one of the updates for the R, R1 release. The previous version wasn't supported on both sides. Um, myself, I haven't had any trouble with that, but apparently some people have, so they wanted to um, give it some angry eyes. I don't know if you can see that, if it's focusing enough, but give it some angry eyes and a little extra support. Fire my assistant. I know. The fireworks stole all your attention. Yeah, so many illegal fireworks. Okay, so a couple of one, three by eights. I don't know if I want to put these in yet. Yeah, that's fine. I think. in three by eights and nut. Okay, and then a end stop, which I've already got wired up, so I'm just going to reuse. And what do they want to do? Do we want to take the yeah, we want to take the lever off. Do I have one that I already took the lever off? Yeah, this one. So we'll use this one instead. Let's see what kind of screws those are. The angry eyes made me and my daughter chuckle when we built the V0.2 last week. Yep, good to have fun. Good to have fun with these. What size is that? It's not a... Let's try this. Oh, holy tiny. I don't even know what screws I use for this thing. There we are. Whoa. Those are instantly stripping. Um, what am I going to do to fix that? Let's see if I can get these off. Uh, where did I put my glasses? I want to see better. A little better. There they are. Jeez. Why are those so tight? Why are those so tight? Should I put, I wouldn't have put glue in those. Let me try a little, maybe a little better driver. Jeez. Is that unscrewing or is it? There we go. Holy moly. And these Fabrico drivers to the rescue. Why was that that tight? There we go. Nice.
Okay. Oh, where am I gonna put that? Over here, I think. And let's do that. Charlie's chilling. And a printed part that can go in the other printed part box. Okay, this micro switch with the with the lever taken off, it's an, a genuine Omron. Gotta run. See you, James. So now, looking at the instructions here, the orientation of the of the switch is important of the of the actuator on the switch. So that and probably have well, I don't have them here. I need to run over to the other garage and get some M2 self tappers. These were not self tappers and that's why they got bound up in the plastic over time and were really tough to loosen up. So I did not bring any M2 self tappers over so I need to go grab them. So I will be right back. Okay, I'm back. We have Dancing Max, but how about Dancing Z Nero from the Friday stream? Well, I put Dancing Max on here because that was actually danced on my stream. So, okay. This, and then this in the correct orientation. Put it in there. And these just just too tight. Fractional Uggaduggas. So now we end up with that. And then this goes on here. This is why that other See if I can see tweezers in here to kind of guide the. There we go. And I think that goes right up against, right up against the rail. This comes down. Triggers it. Did a 30 mile ride yesterday at an event called Bikes and Beers and spent the day at Hampton Beach, New Hampshire today. Awesome. I need to get back on the bike. I've, I've been riding um, consistently. Consistently would be the word. Um, not frequently, but I've been averaging about once a week. However, I did not ride this last week. It was too damn hot. So, but yeah, I've been trying to get back on the bike. Okay, so that's on there, that's there. This triggers it at the, at the bottom. That is good. And then we go back to the instructions. Yeah, 
it is nice and cool in here right now. What is it outside? Let me see what the weather report says it is. Weather report says 94, 93 right now. A high of 97 today. But in here, it's nice and cool. Okay, I am a big Doctor Who fan. I'm not 100% caught up. I, I've i watched some of the Jodie... Jodie Foster? No, Jodie Whittaker. Is that right? I've watched a couple of seasons. I enjoyed it. Um, but I think I'm not 100% caught up. Am I doing Pico bill, Billical can or regular tool head wires? Regular tool head wires because this build is going to get a um, duet the duet 3 mini 5 plus that's going on this build question for you folks since I mentioned that is there a way for me to make the V0 simple display I bought this from DFH a while back in an order I placed um, is there a way to make the V0 simple display work with the duet you can get the Mini 12864 to work, but I'm curious if we, we can make that work. I've enjoyed, I've actually enjoyed every doctor. They've done a good job of picking doctors, I think. True, Jody isn't the doctor anymore. I know. I need to, I don't know if I'm, to the end of that. I might be one season behind. Is that the one with separate MCU? No, this is not separate MCU. That's why I think this is the best chance of, of one working. See, it's got the it's got the direct pins via I don't know if it's SPI or or what. There's no extra there's no extra circuitry on here. So it's direct to the display. Um so I think there's a good chance that we can make this work. But See you, Evil. Have a good one. Okay, back to a bit. So if anybody has any ideas, or if they know that will work, message me, please. I'll be doing my own research too, if I need to. <laughs> okay, so that's installed. End stop mounting, position the end stop mount flush with the bottom of the rail, which is what we did. And we tested, it click clicked. We did a click click. Carefully slide the bed assembly down and ensure that the carriage triggers the end stop switch. You should hear an audible click. We did, I did. Now we can remove the uprights and preload a bunch of nuts. I purchased a simple display to try to get it to work with the custom Raspberry Pi hat I'm designing. Interesting. I never liked Doctor Who, which I find odd because I like I did like Torchwood. I like Torchwood too. So wish that Christopher Eccleston had more time. He did an awesome job bringing the series back. Yeah. Okay, we can remove these and then we're going to pre-install what's next after that. Reload a bunch of nuts and then put those extrusions on. Okay, we can get that far. These off. Captain Jack Harkness. So what is the 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 face of raw what's the face that that that's there's some rumor that that's captain jack in the distant future face of something the big giant face i like rose from doctor who face of bow there we go there we go I mean, I have some 
Doctor Who bit. I mean, it's my wallpaper on my phone. It's been that way for years. <laughs> Lisa Bow. I wouldn't call myself a super fan, but I enjoy it. I like it. Um, my son and I were watching it for a while together. Okay, we need to preload a bunch of a bunch of nuts. Let's go back here. So we're gonna preload one in the back. Are we actually? Yes, we are gonna preload that one in the back. So let's set this up. This I think. I'm just gonna be following the instructions one in the back and can you put that back in your pocket we need more moderators <laughs> do we though so i actually turned on this is the first stream i've ever actually had to approve any um any posts and it's for stupid reasons as we talked about earlier i actually turned on the extra the little bit of moderate posts but how often have we had to moderate posts in this chat? This chat is awesome. This chat is the best chat because I never see anything in here that I have to say anything about. So, okay. So we got one, we have two, only two in the top. Okay. I'm going to use these once only. Yeah. And bought free so far. Charlie. Okay. Two in the top. And two in the back. Oh, I get crazy in here. <laughs> Charlie wants out. Let's see. What do you want out there? Everything you could possibly want is in here. Okay, two in the back. And two on the bottom. So I'm going to go only move this in that plane so I don't lose any. And then we have the LDO post install square nuts if we screw up. Got extras of those. Kitty treat. It is, is it kitty treat time? We're getting close. We're half an hour from end of stream. Here. Let me let me do this and watch watch this. Let's do this. Keep an eye out because as soon as I make this rattle, he's gonna come running across there. You ready? <laughs> oh, there it is. Yes. You want a treat? Huh? Do you want a treat? Huh? Do you want a treat? You're not going to tell me? <laughs> How far into the stream today was Charlie's treat ball? Someone not saying who wants to see it. Um, it was pretty early. It was, it was really early. Oh, you missed it. It's behind you. There you are. Here. We'll do, we'll do, and we'll do the treat ball for an, another few treats for him, and just do it again. Tina hasn't been here the last couple of streams. Was Tina here earlier? Okay, so treat ball. That's this treat, treat ball. This is thanks to Z Run Show. Printed this for me. And then he, yep, 
That's uh, you got treats in there. No. Treats in here. There you go. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> anyway, he'll play with that for a little while. Ah, oh, what do we have? Have to run, see a pushing plastic. Been here for Tina a while. Okay, well, hopefully, all is well. <laughs> okay, where are we at? He's gonna he's gonna play with that for a while. We got the two on the bottom, and then we can put the the extrusions on. Okay, so let's start with the with the bottom ones. So we should have four extrusions. Not those. Not that one. Oh, it's these two. So these two with the offset pull. These are going to go here. Oops, I want to make sure that I have the correct. Oop, this has to go that way. There we go. I'm just going to tighten that down just a little bit, get it in place. And this one goes right like that. And then what is the distance here? So when we look at this, we're going to have a, a distance, right? Use two millimeter, two millimeter hex driver. We should have a measured distance. Oh, after we put the back ones on, and then it's 37 millimeters total. Okay, that's fine. Let's go back here. <laughs> I think he's stuck. Let me let me give him a hand. He's not stuck, but the ball. Yes. Yes. Is it stuck? I need to get back in here. Where is it? Nope, it's all empty. It's all empty now. Here you go. You got two more treats. Two more treats and then done. Almost, but what, what? Modbot. <laughs> Didn't hear Tina, do, do, do. Mods, mods. There you go, it's right here. Now you're all set. You send down your Kurigami rail mount tabs. Hey Kyle. I think that's the first doctor it tends to be your fave. However, I loved we in the role. I'm gonna um, wash off my fingers so Charlie doesn't decide I'm a snack. There you go. Okay, back to it. Doctor Who, Doctor Who, Doctor Who. Now we're gonna put our rails on. So this goes here. Charlie's gonna come say hi. He's looking for treats. One and
I don't have any more, Charlie. <laughs> hmm. Okay. That goes there. Probably get some pets. See you, Derek. Look on Google for his picture with Tom Baker was the one I recognize as the one I watched growing up. I remember Tom Baker. I remember an episode or a couple of them of the very original because he used to play on PBS, um, the local, I mean, the public access channel. Um, so reruns, and I, I remember the original Doctor a few, um, but mostly it was Tom Baker. Oh, how was Open Sauce? I did meet Z Rancho. He printed the little Charlie treat ball for me. Super nice guy. Had a good time hanging out with him. Okay. Um, where are we? And what time is it? 1.30. Okay. So we got some, we have a little bit more time. So now we have to put more of these. So my little spacers go on the back here. PBS was a place back in the day. Put the... Okay, so I think if I turn this, nothing's gonna fall out. Good. John from proper printing is ear off. Yes. Oh, he's talking about belt belt extruders. Yes. Okay, so that's like that. And then we need two. These two are the rear, nope, uh, yep, these two are the ones with the cross holes just on the ends are gonna be the rear extrusions here. So, let's go here. Which way does that need to go? Yeah. this. That. And like that. What was that? Z-Run Show tried to pitch building a Voron to James Braden. Yep. <laughs> And James was having none of it because his Lulzbot sponsor was right there. And his Lulzbot sponsor is a super nice guy too. Uh, chatted with him a, a little bit at the various events. Okay, making sure these are lined up. You say the next CA stream is new Dart Blaster, yes. Um, new Dart Blaster, but I forgot to bring the bits and pieces over here. So we're not gonna get a get a preview of it, but I can post some pictures on the on the pictures of the parts on the Discord. I just don't want to go back to the other to the other garage. That's why I really don't like this split garage setup. I want to I want to build where I use I'm muted. How am I muted? I shouldn't be muted. Is the, did my mic die? Do, 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 no, I'm, I, you should be able to hear me. 
Can you hear me? Oh, that was you. Okay. Key vines. <laughs> okay. So now let's set this down and get these. Loud and clear. Okay. Good. I'm using the edge of the, maybe I can, maybe I can zoom out. There we go. Make sure everything is lined up here. There. Oh, my bad. Keybind muted me. How dare you? Let's loosen this up. Oh. Feel all that. Any plans to build a Trident side pack? You know, I was I was in a, a chat talking to folks. Um, they brought up the side pack, and I think it's a really well. Um, it looks really good. It's a well done mod. For me, most of my printers end up saying somewhat close to spec because it's easier for me to test parts. That doesn't mean that some of these mods that are out there are not awesome and very well done, but it makes it a little more difficult for me to try some of them. And that's a pretty major change. Um, some of the other ones that are not so major are easier to try. So now I'm loosening these up a little bit. So the back, the back is all squared. Now we're going to measure that 37 millimeters from the, from the front. Where'd my calipers go? They're over here. My first printer was a Wolzbot test. Yep. Could have handled it better, but maybe it was very jet lagged. Well, yeah. go 37.0 so now this here I go here right there doesn't look like our favorite giant yellow ruler Up here not there. All right, like that. And that is good. Now, let's over and do the same. Not there. Make sure we're flush. Colin, we're about 18 minutes from being done. LGX Lite on Mini Stealth Burner for 0 0.2. Thoughts? If there's a good mod to do it, the LGX Lite is fine. I'm using it on the Mercury One. It's working great. Integza tried to blow my hand off with a rocket fuel. That was pretty fun. Integza's a funny guy. Hearing ABS crack off my build plate while watching you just scared the crap out of me. Do you need to run the bat 85 with the armor on if I'm using an EVB board? Um, that's a good question, JH. I'm not sure. Hey, Squirrel Brain. Charlie, you can wait just a little bit. There is nothing in there that you don't already have in here. <laughs> okay, so that is the frame so far. 
so next on the on the instructions so that's that and then we can put the oh we got to put the bottom panel on so at this point i think we are going to wrap or at least wind down we can we can chat for a little bit more a couple of minutes here but i need to recut all of my um panels because the the v0.0 .0 stuff is a little different shape um and i have these all vhb this is this is the old setup with the 100 watt um meanwhile power supply and a what is this a, a mini skr mini e3 v2 so i am going to just recut this panel because i want the the shape to be a little different plus the cutout for the um for the the cable chain is in the wrong spot that kind of thing um i do need a bottom panel and a deck panel you absolutely need a deck panel you don't get a cereal without a deck panel um so the next part of the step is putting or the next step in the build is to put that bottom panel in place the deck panel in place and finish up the frame so we're kind of at a good stopping point anyway so i'm gonna oh ow, i keep grabbing the um the controller board on those on those blank on those pins and jabbing myself so that's gonna get recut i'll probably do that on my laser master and then the back panel likewise i'm just gonna cut a new one because there's little different shapes in the back so um that'll be for the next stream and we are we are going to continue this build this build will definitely continue next sunday um no other build is going to get in the way by then and we will be doing a charlie's angel stream next saturday so sometime in the next weeks this build will probably get interrupted work in and we'll start working with daniel modbot on the vzbot builds um, and then we'll get back to this finish it up and then after that will be the rook build so um getting a couple of satsuma builds together here i'm gonna let charlie out because he really really wants out go ahead charlie He's such a weird cat because he'll scratch on that door forever, really wanting out, and then he doesn't want to jump over the threshold. So. Uh, when is the tri-bent? <laughs> that's a good question. That's, that's, uh, that is a great question. It's something I need to work on that I haven't made time for. And, that's, and it's a matter of making time for it. Um, yes, so Daniel and I are, are going to do um, each are doing VZ 235. So I'm looking forward to that because we've, we've worked a bit. We've worked a bit on planning that. Uh, which Rook will it be? Hope not the original. Well, it is. It's the Fabrico. Fabrico provided a kit. So the, the cool thing about the Rook build is Fabrico provided a kit. So it will be a Mark 1. Um, but ending logistics um because i'm i'm not sure how i need to work out some details but we will be giving it away i'm hoping i'm hoping 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 that that can be international giveaway at the very least it'll be us or, or north america giveaway i'm really gonna try to make it international though um i think all the voltages can line up may need to get a different power cord if you're outside the us and then making sure i don't run into any being able to ship that issues so if anybody has any reasons i might be able to or not be able to do that let me know is there such a thing as a weird cat or are they just a cat yeah this is true so the funny thing charlie has a thing about dark thresholds he will he used to when he was younger he used to literally leap over them i mean it's it's foot level and he'd still jump over it do we know if these zx blue extrusions are the same hue as ldo's i don't know 
how do you get vendors to sponsor builds? For me, the the most of what I've done has been reached out to. Um, I do builds. We we have fun doing these on stream. And occasionally I get contacted saying, hey, does this sound like a fun build? And if it sounds like a fun build, then I say, sure. <laughs> I don't do a lot of, I don't do a lot of reaching out a little bit uh, when I, when I think it's appropriate, but otherwise I, I only stream once a week, which makes it tough to do a lot. So. Um, so you can't really match colors from different suppliers. In fact, you can't even match colors between batches. Yeah, that's tough. Um, be awesome, get sponsors. <laughs> the, what was I going to say? There was something else I was going to say. I don't remember. Scroll brain, what it retains the knob next to the screen. At some point, I do want to do Squirrel Brain's Tic Tac um, build. Just don't know when. Some more fasteners attached to the magnet on the build plate here. So this is the build plate. So this is a a um, um, Mandela Roseworks magnetic bed. I do a few modifications to these. They Mandela puts two bed locating screws holes here. I drill two more in the back and then I use one here. So I use the one in the front to locate it to the side and the two in the back to locate in the back. And it looks like one of them fell out at some point, but and it is a 120 volt bed on this printer. So we'll be, it'll be an eight, a mains powered bed. Uh, see you, Mr. K. You sound as tired as I feel. I'm getting there. This is a good time to, to call it good. Not all power supplies are certified for use in the EU. Yes. So I, that's one of the things I knew that, Bartos. So I need to figure out what I can do to make that um, make that work. That won't work with Beacon. No. So, um... I think that's we're gonna call it. Thank you, everyone. Um, ground wire location and back of bed. Oh, that might be why it's that's why it's out. You're right. Good call, Make RS. That's why it's out is because that's where the ground wire was. Um, you might need two holders for the way goes with that config. LDO one has two, then one extra for a thermal fuse. Thanks for that, um, Ballistic Tech. I'll, I'll. That's a good point. I'll check that. Um, you go to Bay Area, make fair Saturday, Sunday, or both. I'm probably going to try to go. If I just go as an attendee, it'd just be one day. So I don't interrupt yet another stream. Um, it depends on what what's going on around there. Um, yeah. So don't forget, meet the maker on West 3D's channel. Links the pin post. Check that out in two hours. Two hours from now, that's going to start. So hope to see you there. Otherwise... Have a good one. We'll see all the members on Saturday for a Cynthia Blaster build. And everyone else will see you on Sunday for continuation of this build. Have a good rest of your day. Bye. Oh.